First at 430, the rain is over, but the risk for flooding is not. River water levels continue to rise. Flooding is either happening or it's imminent. The Connecticut River, for example, is forecast to rise above flood stage tonight. While minor flooding is mostly expected, moderate flooding is possible, too, at Middle Haddam. First alert meteorologist Jill Gillardi is just a little farther south along the Connecticut River. She's at Haddam Neck in East Hampton. Hi, Jill. How's it looking where you are? Well, you know, it doesn't look bad because we are higher up. It's going to be obviously a different story across low-lying areas. And yes, I'm in an area that is under a river flood warning. Remember, you can access any of those types of alerts through the WFSB First Alert weather app. But we did take a few stops today along the Connecticut River, and uh, we wanted to go to those spots that tend to flood. And one of those is the Cromwell boat launch, which continues to rise and will rise above flood stage and flood that area by tonight. The Connecticut River at Thompsonville is another area that is expected to experience minor flooding between tonight and Saturday morning. The Connecticut River at Hartford is also forecast to experience minor flooding starting tonight, but it is actually expected to persist even longer and linger through the weekend. And last but not least, the Connecticut River at Middle Haddam is a more problematic area, and that's where the uh, water levels will rise through Saturday and create moderate flooding by then. Now, Neil Perrin, who lives along the river at Haddam Neck, says the bigger problem sometimes develops after the high water recedes like it didn't back in July. But when it starts to recede, that's when it starts bringing all the debris, the dead trees along the river, it uproots older trees. So now the boats have to avoid all that. And again, it's usually in April, not July, or not right now. Again, this is not normal. <laughs> Yeah, Neil has uh, lived here since the early 90s, and, you know, typically this time of year, there's probably still ice on the river, and you're not seeing those water levels rise usually until the springtime towards, uh, you know, the end of this month into early April, so definitely way earlier than normal. Reporting live in Haddam Neck, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Jill Gillardi, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.